it's Ellen here again and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to play Believer by Imagine Dragons on the guitar as requested by my patrons over on my Patreon page who voted for this song as this month's patron picks. So if you want a little bit of voting power make sure to check out my Patreon page but uh, go ahead and stay tuned if this is something that you'd like to learn. And really quick before we jump into the tutorial I wanted to take a second to thank today's sponsor Burroughs Guitars. If you're looking for a quality beginner guitar that is both durable and beautiful while still having an affordable price tag, consider a Burroughs. Designed in and named after the five Burroughs of New York City, these are the perfect starter guitar for anyone excited to begin their music journey. Not only are they super easy and fun to play, but these guitars are the best you'll find at this inexpensive price point. With six different models and several finishes to choose from, you'll be sure to find the one that fits your personality and musical tastes perfectly. Best of all, all Burroughs guitars ship directly and exclusively from Adorama, a trusted site for all your creative needs. So if playing guitar is something you or a loved one have been considering, check out the links in the description box and get started today. So I'm going to go ahead and classify this song as pretty beginner friendly, um, but let's go ahead and talk about our guitar. You will need it to be in standard tuning and you'll have your capo on your first fret if you want it to be in the same key as the original song. Today I'm going to show you five different chords. One of them is a bar chord, which is F, but I will also show you an alternate fingering in case you're struggling with bar chords. Um, and then there's one strumming pattern that you can apply for the whole song, as well as one picking pattern that you kind of hear throughout it. So I will cover all of that in this tutorial today, but let's go ahead and start with the chords. All right, so like I said, you only need to know five different chord shapes to play through the entire song. And we're going to start with our A minor, which looks like this and sounds like this. By the way, if you don't know how to read these chord charts that you're seeing on screen, I do cover how to do that in my beginner series episode 3, so I will make sure to link that right here for those of you who need it. Moving on, our next chord is our E chord. Then we have our E7. Then we have our G. And we're gonna finish things off with our bar chord shape, which is our F. But of course, as promised, if bar chords are hard for you, you can also replace this with an F major seven. And those are the chords you need to know to play the song. All right, guys, as always, if any of these chord shapes are new to you or hard for you to play, just make sure to pause the video and take a few minutes to practice memorizing them as well as transitioning back and forth between them. It really will help make the song easier to play as we move forward. But with that being said, let's go ahead and jump into the strumming pattern. So if you are familiar with any of my other tutorials, I do always start you guys off with a practice pattern, which is just one simple down strum on the beat for every chord change. I always suggest beginners start here as well as people who have trouble singing and playing at the same time because it does orient you to the rest of the song and makes everything a little bit easier. So as an example, let's go ahead and put the first verse here on screen. And all I want you to do is do one simple down strum with every chord change that you see here and just kind of take a mental note of what word you're singing while you're doing it. One, two. Ready, go. First things first, I'ma say all the words inside my head. I'm fired up and tired of the way the things have been. Oh, ooh, the way the things have been. Ooh, So basically you would want to do that for the rest of the song and you can already tell things, for example, how we are holding out that A minor a little bit longer than we're holding out the F and the E chord. These are all things that you'll figure out as you go through the song with just a simple down strum. So if you are a beginner, I would suggest that you do this first. Um, this is actually something you can do right now. I have this whole guide available on my Patreon page so you can download and print it out and go through it. Um, so make sure to check that out. I will make sure to link it in the description down below as well as in this I card up here. Um, but with that being said, let's go ahead and jump into the full strumming pattern. All right, guys, so the strumming pattern I would suggest for this song, as you can see, is just down, 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 up, and it's gonna sound a little something like this. So 
So now that you've heard the rhythm, let's go ahead and pair it with one of our chord shapes. Let's just hold down our A minor. And I'm gonna play through this for a few measures and I just want you to jump in whenever you start to feel the rhythm and start to get the hang of it. So I'll count us in. One, two, ready, go. Down, 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 I'm down. So this strumming rhythm is pretty straightforward and you can use it for the entire song and it sounds pretty good. Um, but one thing to remember is that sometimes you will want to repeat this pattern through twice for a chord, whereas other times you're gonna only repeat it, or not repeat it, you're only gonna play it once. So for example, if we put the first verse back up on screen, you can see here the A minor is gonna be played twice with this strumming pattern, but the F and the E are only gonna be played once. So you'd go A minor, down, 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 up, again, down, down, then your F is once, down, 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 up, E is once, down, 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 all right? Like I said, this strumming pattern can be applied for the whole song, so let's just quickly go over how it would sound in the chorus as well. So it's the same pattern. Down, 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 up, down, 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 down. Basically, you could go through the whole song and play through it with this strumming pattern right now, but I wanted to show you something that you can do to kind of change up the strumming pattern just a slight bit if you want to, so it's totally optional. Um, but something you can add to this is kind of do a little bit more of a chucking motion, which is just when you're making kind of a, a sound with your guitar, but you're not actually like fretting any chords. So basically what I like to do is while I'm strumming with my right hand, instead of letting it ring, I just kind of take the palm, the side of my palm of my hand, and kind of press it down on the strings as I strum. So it kind of just makes this kind of like chucking motion, like that. You can kind of hear the chord through it, depending on how lightly or you know not lightly you do this motion. So if you want to make this strumming pattern sound a little bit more rhythmic, which kind of matches the song a little bit more, I would recommend putting this little chucking action at the first down strum in the pattern. So now it would sound more like this. So if you like the way that sounds, I do think it kind of makes it a little bit more punchy, which kind of, you know, reminds me of the original song, but it's totally optional if you want to put that in there or not. Um, but with that being said, let's go ahead and zoom in so I can show you this picking pattern. Guys, so this picking pattern is going to be super easy and it actually repeats throughout the entire song so you could actually play through it with just the picking if you wanted. Um, something to remember on the left hand is you can actually hold the chord shapes down, so A minor, F, and E. This will also work if you do your F major 7. Um, but the thing that I have found easiest is actually just to use on your left hand the fingers that you need, okay? So the way that I like to play this is I will put my middle finger here on the second fret of the G string and then my first finger goes on the first fret of the B string. And those are the only two notes you need to hold down for this first part of the picking. And then on my right hand with my pick, I like to pick down on the G string and then up on the B string. So you're essentially going down, up, down, up, down, up whenever you're doing this picking. All right. So basically you want to hold this out for two measures. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Then you would go into your F chord. And again, remember you can hold the whole chord shape down. What I actually like to do is I will just take my ring finger and put that on the third fret of the D string. Um, on your right hand, your pick is going to move up one string now to the D string. But you're still going to play the B string when you do your up pick. 
So again, you're going down, up, down, up. And this one's going to follow like the strumming pattern. You just want to do it for one measure. One, two, three, four. Then you would end it on your E chord. And again, you can do the whole chord shape here. What I like to do is I will just take off my ring and my middle finger and move my pointer finger over one string to the first fret of the G string. And then when you pick this, you can actually just pick the open string of the B string. And remember on your pick hand, you're still doing that down up motion, okay? So then you do this for one measure. One, two, three, four. All right, so slowly through the whole thing um, with my fingers the way that I like to play them, it's just gonna be your middle and your first finger. You're gonna go one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Then put your ring finger down next door. One, two, three, four. Then take your fingers off and then put your first finger over one string. And that's the whole picking pattern. If you listen carefully in the song, it actually repeats throughout almost the entire thing. So like I said, you could just play this picking pattern with your cover if you wanted to. So let's go ahead and do that a little bit more at tempo and without stopping. One, two, ready, go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Again, you could use this for the entire song if you wanted to. The way that I like to break this song down is I will do the picking for the verses, and then I'll move into strumming for the pre-choruses and the chorus, and then I like to do that kind of chucking pattern with the pre-chorus, and then let all of the strings ring for the choruses. But I will go over all of that in my playthrough here, so let's go ahead and jump into playing through the song. Want to have fun jamming out to the rest of the song with me? Then make sure to check out my Patreon page where you can unlock access to this as well as all my other fast track and play along tutorials. I'll make sure to leave a link in the description box down below as well as in this iCard right up here. Alright guys, but that does it for me today. I really hope that this helped you. If it did, make sure to give me a thumbs up down below as well as subscribe to my channel. That way you never miss out on any other new tutorials. Another thank you goes out to Burroughs Guitars for sponsoring this video as well as a special shout out to my top patrons over on my Patreon page. I will make sure to list all of their names on screen right now. And of course, thank you to all of my patrons for supporting my channel and helping me make videos just like this one possible. You guys rock. Here are my social media accounts in case you'd like to follow me on any of those. That's just where I do fun things like behind the scenes looks at things coming up. I'll poll you guys on what you want to learn next. And I'll even do giveaways on there a few times a year. So make sure to check it out. Um, but with that being said, I think that ends the video. So thank you so much for watching. I really hope that it helped and I will see you in my next one.